from yesterday's warm sunshine, we've got a cold night. Oh, ahead maybe even a little frosty huh yeah it's that time of the year we've got some plants that are growing the buds and the trees are coming and so that combined with a cold night ahead has prompted a uh, frost advisory for parts of lower Michigan, really the southwest part of the state. Now, with that being said, if you have any tender vegetation outside, any tulips or anything like that, not a bad idea to cover them or if they're in a pot, bring them inside here tonight just to be safe. Uh, but officially, it's 2 a.m. through 8 a.m. for the counties in that blue shade. Outside, looking great after a very cloudy day. The sun is now out, the clouds have gone, but with the clouds getting out of here. That's going to be one of the factors as to why it's so cold here tonight. With no clouds in place, the earth cools off rather quickly. We're still in the 50s right now, still close to 60 down near uh, Adrian. 54 in Lansing, a pair of fives in Owasso, 55 also in Jackson, but those numbers fall fast overnight tonight. There go the clouds and with high pressure back in to the west in command. That means more sunshine for us come tomorrow. I think Wednesday should be a pretty nice looking day. A, a cool start, right? We'll wake up in the middle to upper 30s, but as we head into the afternoon with lots of sunshine, we'll get back into the mid 60s for highs and we'll take it. I think Wednesday should be a nice day. Things change a bit though come Thursday with that chance for rain back in the forecast. 7 a.m. on future track, a dry start, lots of sunshine early on, but watch what happens as we head into the afternoon. There's two systems that are going to be kind of fighting for space, a larger one to the south and then for us a cold front and you can see it starting to move through around 5 or 6 p.m. Now the system to the south is going to kind of rob the moisture, right? Most of it's going to be with that system. So we're not going to have a whole lot to deal with with this front, but there's going to be enough that we'll likely see a few showers later Thursday into the very early morning hours on Friday. Not a lot, but a couple of showers will be out there by daybreak on Friday. It looks like we're drying things out and then more sunshine is expected as we head through the afternoon hours on Friday as well. You'll see it coming up in the seven day. So tonight cold mid 30s. Some of those outlying spots in the lower 30s and again there could be some frost out there. So if you have any tender vegetation, cover it or bring it inside with clear skies expected. Tomorrow light winds, more sunshine should be a very nice day. After a cold start, we get back into the mid 60s for highs. Not too bad for this time of the year. No 70s like we had yesterday, but we'll take it for your Wednesday forecast. Thursday should be dry to start. But a couple of showers are expected after sunset and into the night. Maybe a pre-dawn shower early Friday. Aside from that, Friday does look dry as well. A little bit more rain later Saturday into early Sunday. The bigger story though this weekend, it will be cooler after getting to 68 on Thursday. We'll only top out in the mid 50s this weekend. So going to be cool. Yeah. We're, we're hoping that system gets out of here quickly on Sunday. So yeah. that Sunday is okay. That would be nice. We'll do it. All right, Brett, thank you.